This is my very good condition shark and the 801 Yes, 801 UKT40 to give it its precise title with as you may have seen if you watched the first video on all these sharks the tag still attached to the lane this is in very good physical condition apart from the fact that the lock on the head is broken and the head itself is very very clogged we're going to see if we can fix that and get this one working probably pretty well Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, I thought we would start with this one on our shark conquest. Like I say, I'm not going to repair every single one that I had. And if you're watching this because of the title, yes, this is how, hopefully, don't know yet, to take apart one of these and get it working again. So we shall spit it down a bit. We don't need the wand on, that can go over there and we can lift away from this as well because for now all we care about is this we know it turns from the before video but not terribly well yet that the whole thing is full of fluff and crud plus we need to fix this so first we're going to take out a load of screws we need a t20 bit for our mv801 they obviously call the power nozzle the same as the machine and we just need to remove some screws and hope that they go back in because if this housing is loose for any particular reason I think that's it we should release the brush roller there so oh, look at that that the front comb doing very well at holding in all of that grot that was in there this isn't too lovely either but it doesn't look worn it might wash up well it's only just starting to melt and go all horrible um yeah so, um, now I can lift this up ah oh, look we still have the hair remover there we go look we can remove some hair that's cool now we can see the screws at the top that need to come out or oh, actually we can take out the brush roller as well. This is a very nice to maintain model. Some of those you can't do that with. So instant plus point for this vacuum cleaner. Even though we obviously have to take it apart to fix it up. There we go. All right, this can lift off carefully in case there's anything underneath it. Why are you not coming off? Which one of these screws is still? I think it was that one. Yes, aha, fab. And we can see inside of our head with the one motor that drives both of those. We'll open that up at some point and see what it's like. But yeah, we got to, well, we can unclog this. Like, ah, that's interesting. I know that you can see that, but look, this hose isn't actually connected in there it is no I can pull it out that's possibly not supposed to be like that although it should aid us in getting it out so we're gonna fix that I'm gonna try and put that back up where it belongs and then tell you how I did it Well, I think that's in. What I did was I unclipped this from that end and then pushed and doesn't seem to have latched fully, but where are we? There we go. Look, it's, it's in there. I don't think it's going to matter too much since you know this machine can all be refurbished and then we can sit it all back together. Clip the inner hose. You also have to change your inner hose, although this hose looks a bit different to the old style. I don't know if these are played with the 
massive hose tearing issue that they used to have. Oh crikey, this is difficult to get in there. Does this just pull up? That would be a bit easier. Then I can grab it. Come on. Eh. Perfect. And then, yeah, that can sit in there. And then we can hope that these screws for this head actually torque up. Because this will this will dictate why that was really loose. They're sort of going in. They're going. I've got the torque set quite low. But these back ones are going to be it. Ooh. Hey, there were the worst ones. This one. So there we go. All that now. That is our latching mechanism fix. So whether this has been apart before, trying to evidently failing to fix the clog, or work these same time, perhaps. I don't actually know, but hey, I'll take that as a decent fix any day. Crikey, the state of that clear window look. But. I'll take that state of the clear window for now. Pop you back on. Pop this back in. Oh, no, wait. Got to put the hair removal tool away. I bet you in 10, 15 years' time, when people try to collect these, they're going to be so rare. And then we'll pop this back in. I'm under no illusions that it, it doesn't work terribly well. I think that's in. And we can pop the machine back together. Actually, you no, know, first, I reckon that's going to be okay. While we're set up like this, all nice and cosy, let's have a quick look at it here. Because, yeah, it wasn't the best. And while we got Benchy out, I do think it would be prudent to perhaps tidy it up a tad. Ready, Phoenix? <laughs> And then put it back together, hopefully with that, just, just giving it that little bit of help it needs, just for now. I'm not going to be long before I refurbish these. I must, I can't let these sit like I've let the other sharks sit. But, you know, I want to turn it on with it as good as it's going to be. Because it would be rude not to. Right, oh yeah, I was going to change the camera angle, wouldn't I? Oh, so back together and unclogged. Let's see how well it works now. Um, oh yeah, switch the plug the plug in. Ah. Oh, the plug's bent. Right, we're on. 
we have seven good sections. Ready? Right, one carpet. Yeah. It's working well, it's very quiet. I will give it that. Doesn't seem to be doing much like very deeply. But it is working. One cannot fault that. Obviously, we can turn the brush on right down the hard floor. As per all of the sharks, hey, that picked up. That was okay. Doesn't seem to be doing a lot though. It does seem to float across the surface. Let's let's give it a little challenge. There is some sawdust down, very fine sawdust. Some of it pushed deep into the pile. Some sat on top. Let's see. I'm sure it'll be fine. Not bad, not gonna lie. Oh, that is not good at all. But it's doing it. Brush it on carpet. Oh, it's still coming out. Oh, oh, yeah. It's done it. It's got the bits up. No, no, it's got the bits up. They're still flicking out. And it is now quite full, but who knows, maybe oh, there's a bit of sawdust on the filter, but how, how ironic is that? I think it works absolutely fine. I think all of its ills now are just because the four things, filthy, clagged up. I mean, it's three years old, bless it, and it's a shark, and I'm amazed it's lasted this long. So we have good suction power, we have okay head power. Next time you see this, hopefully we'll have it refurbished and working. And if you have an MV801 UKT-40 and this has helped you with your floor head repair, excellent. I am very happy and hope that sorted it for you. So, until the next time, I and this shark will see you soon. Bye bye.